This is every single meal I eat in a week. I'm gonna walk you through breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and how I prep it up for a week in less than an hour in order to lose fat and be prepared. Let's start with the breakfast. Now with breakfast, let me zoom this camera out a little bit, I try to eat relatively similar each day. I just find it easier and less stress and less thinking. So let's turn this camera around and walk you through what my breakfast is going to be for the week. This is my breakfast. So I've got some low sugar sauce here. I've got some bacon, which I'm going to take the medallions out of. I've got some heck chicken sausages, or you can use turkey sausage here, and I have some spinach some salt and pepper, and some fry spray. This is meal number one. It is the only meal that I do not prep up in advance. The reason I don't prep this up in advance is it only takes maybe five to 10 minutes max. And to be honest, prepping up sausages and bacon, I don't really you know, like the sound of that, to be honest. Um, so this is just easier to make fresh, but I'll walk you through all of the meals I'm going to prep up in a second. This is breakfast one, so I have the heck sausages in here. These take a few minutes to cook. I've got my bacon medallions. I'm going to cut the fat off. I will literally put them in with a minute to go in the sausages, and those, those will cook absolutely fine. Spinach I have here, water in the bowl, spinach in the bowl, and two minutes in the microwave, and it's good to go. So really quick, efficient breakfast. Takes less than 10 minutes start to finish. There's a boiled egg on here, but that's Amy's. Um, so this is meal number one um, for the meal prep for the week. Bacon medallions in, they will take around a minute. The sausages are cooked and ready to go. The spinach is like 20 seconds left. So does the bacon. Just gonna flip this over and that is it. Good to go for my breakfast recipe for the week. This is my breakfast. I'm gonna repeat this for the rest of the week just to keep things nice and easy. So this is everything you need for the meal prep. Again, I've showed the breakfast. Um, I'm going to focus this on two other meals again. I'm just going to repeat them for the week because that's easy for me. Then I switch the menu up next week. You can choose more variety if you like. Again, you can make half of these portions and you're good to go. So I'm going to make some walnut glazed salmon. So I have some salmon here, um, uh, salmon fillets, two lemons, one bag of walnuts, some parsley, um, and I have some, some onion here as well. That's going to be the ingredients for those. I, and some honey, actually. Um, I will have a full recipe for the salmon separately as well. Um, so again, I can show you how to do that. Um, we also have garlic chili chicken. So I have one packet of lean chicken breast. I have some chilies, some onions, some garlic puree. Oh, and actually, pan round here, pan round here. Um, I have uh, some chopped tomatoes here as well. So. Uh, I'm going to be using the, the chopped tomatoes for those. Seasonings, I have medium curry powder, garam masala, cumin and chilli powder, um, and some ginger here as well, some non-stick spray, and my snacks for the week are going to be these Arla protein yogurts. So I have these Arla protein, and I have light style Greek yogurt, along with some popcorn as my final snack. I've also got some blueberries in there. Let me actually show you my blueberries. Um, so we do have some blueberries here, forgot to set those out, and these are going to be an evening snack for me as well. But let's get into cooking these up and making it efficient. So first step on the salmon dish, I'm going to do it first because once it's in the oven, I can start to actually prep the chicken meal as well. So I can forget about the salmon, get it in the oven, and while it's cooking, start making the chicken. So again, I'm saving time. That's my walnuts chopped up. I'm going to just throw some spray in here. Um, and get these in the pan. And they, they're going to be roasted for a couple of minutes. Next step is just to dice the onions. So I'm going to do, I'm actually make a mess of it here. <laughs> Slicing it like this. It is an easier way to do it that I have not done. Um, so just get your onion diced up and you're good to go. So in goes the onion. Juice of one lemon, give the two lemons actually. Just get the parsley chopped up and in the bowl. Splash of honey. Walnuts in. Time to just spread the mixture out evenly and make sure you get that lemon just pulled on. You may have some excess, that's fine, you can just get rid of it. Um, if you don't have any use for it. I forgot to put the garlic on, so I forgot my garlic puree, so I just sprayed it over the top. 
Moving on to the next meal, so the salmon is in the oven right now. That means I can be efficient and start prepping up the next. I get some microwave rice because it's easy and it's convenient. If you want to boil up some rice, no problem, I would suggest putting that on first. What I'm going on to the garlic chili chicken. So chicken, chilies, the microwave rice, chopped tomatoes, ginger, my seasonings and spices, which will all be linked in the description, or wrote down in the description, some garlic puree, onion, salt and pepper. First things first, I'm going to chop up the chicken, get it into the frying pan. Next stage is the chicken going in, that will allow me to start working on the onions and the chilli. I'm just going to start seasoning these up. So I'll throw all my seasonings in here, throw a good bit in. Um, I will probably maybe season this once or twice actually while it's cooking. Just taste it throughout, so my garam masala, the chilli powder. Everything's going in, get it a good season. You want your food to taste good, it's not going to cause you to not lose fat, something like that. I don't know honestly why people um, insist on eating bland, boring food. Um, it just does nothing for you. Uh, some ginger puree going in there as well. And a little splash of garlic puree. And I'm going to give that a good stir around. So my onion and my chilies are chopped up. Chicken is cooking away. It will take a few minutes more, uh, probably another five or so minutes. My salmon is good to go almost, so maybe another 10 minutes or so. But again, it requires no work, and then I can get it fixed in the containers. And this is then going in with the chopped tomatoes to finish the chicken off. Um, and again, you can see it's relatively efficient. Hasn't taken me a hell of a lot of time. I mean, that salmon was in the 20 minute timer, and that's seven minutes left. Um, so that's 13 minutes to get to this stage, start to finish, including all the filming and cleaning and all this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it can be really efficient when you do things correct. Everything now added into the one pan. Um, I am just going to let this simmer for five or so minutes. Let everything cook up and come together. Um, and that is it, good to go. And the salmon is ready. <laughs> Here you go. Done. So, just giving this a quick try. <laughs> I can tell you it has passed the taste test. That is really good. That is now four dinners made up. All I need to do to make them ready is reheat it in a frying pan. It will take literally two minutes and it's done. So, so you can see how easy, quick and convenient it can be. Now I'm just going to put it in a box and that's it. Store for the week. This is the finished article. So I'm going to have some of this salmon right now because it was so good. As you can see, I've tubbed the rest up. That will be nice and easy and convenient to have. If it, I will typically have a baked potato or something like that, or maybe just some more of this rice um, with it. I have my garlic chili chicken. Again, I will potentially just have a half a packet of rice or a full packet, depending on the goal. I am just going to put this into this tub. And that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more future entire meal preps from me, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see me try next. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really does mean the world. Um, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more future videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. See you on the next one.